Hello, Friends Academy. Welcome to All School Meeting. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Today's All School Meeting begins with Miss Parker's birthday shout outs and Kaylin Fulham's book buzz. From there, we'll transition to a celebration of learning from the Sally Borden program and conclude with a song and photograph compilation from Mr. Murdoch. It's a full meeting, so that's all from me. Have a great week, everyone. Good morning, Friends Academy. I could have your attention for one moment, please. I'd like to wish happy birthday to the following students. Happy birthday to Katherine Tang, Stella Hoffman, Tess Hamilton, Lily Ducharme, and Roxanne Anderson. Happy birthday! Good morning, Friends Academy. I read the Sarah series by Esther and Jerry Hicks and illustrated by Caroline S. Garrett. This series is about a girl named Sarah who meets a wise owl named Solomon who teaches her. Sarah visits the owl every day after school at the thicket. You should read this series because it is funny and adventurous and you will learn a lot. One adventure is when Sarah went looking for caves with her friend Seth. Something you can learn about in this series is the law of attraction, like focusing on what you want and not what you don't want. My favorite part is the whole series because it is so good that I can't choose any part or book to be my favorite. This series makes me feel joyful and happy when I read the, these books. When we read these books at home, we don't want to put them down or be done. We, we will say, please, can we read more? The FABs in this book are all of them because you are learning from a wise, loving owl. You can find this book online or at my house. Thank you. Today I'm excited to introduce our Sally Borden students who come together to celebrate their year of learning. They will pay tribute to what our program means to them and how it's impacted their lives. Also, our Sally Borden 8th graders will leave parting words of wisdom for younger students who are overcoming the challenges that learning differences bring. Students, we are so proud of your hard work and growth this year. Congratulations. The Sally Borden program is important to me in my life because when I came to Friends Academy, I was really afraid, but Friends Academy and SBP specifically helped me with my reading, so SBP means a lot to me. I'm really calm in Sally Borden classroom. My teacher teaches me the way I learn best. For me, it means a whole bunch of great friends and great teachers who teach me so much and taught me how to learn. And I've learned and grown so much over the past couple of years. Now in seventh grade, I've realized how far I've come as a person and a student. SBP means to me is friendship and accepts the way I live. Dolly Borden has helped me through a lot of stuff. I love it. I care when I need it. <clears throat> and it's helped me feel better. It's kind of helped me like learning more. And it's also kind of changed how I feel about school in general. Since I've been in SVP, I've grown so much in my reading, in my stamina of writing, and it's been a blast. It makes me understand things. Like It's always possible for me to understand things when um, my teachers explain it. The teachers have taught me new things that I did not understand. It's easier to work in a smaller classroom and we work step by step with things. It helped me learn to read, write, and spell. It has made me more independent and more sociable. When I first started at SVP, I really struggled with reading and writing, but have grown to the point of really enjoying reading and not struggling so much when writing. Because I have become braver and stronger and more willing to take on challenges because of the teachers helping me out along the way. It's helped me understand learning a little bit better. Sally Borden has helped me learn more comfortably. I can read much harder books now and 
it's helped me to make friends and because it made me have a place I could be and I could like, really work and like focus to improve myself because when I was in traditional classes they were really hard and I couldn't understand anything. So when I joined this it was almost like another friend to me that was like always helping me out, like getting me through life, so it's very special to me. I just wanted to say, no matter how hard things get or how much you feel you can't do something, you always can and it's worth it in the end. Like the main thing I've learned from SVP is that the teachers will like go out of the way to help you get something done. Whenever you feel like you're struggling or it's too hard or you can't do it, or just know that that's only in your head. You have lots of people supporting you. Good luck and stay organized as much as you can. You need to try lots of different extracurricular activities to see what you like best later in your years at friends. That I know sometimes it gets hard, but you've got this and you can do it. Ask for help, ask for advice, and you can get through any struggles you come across. Um, my time at Sally Borden has been amazing, and you should really just enjoy your time together because it goes by so fast, and it really is the best. I want to say thank you, Sally Borden. Good morning, Friends Academy. This week's trivia is neurodiversity. What is neurodiversity? A, variations in brain wiring. B, differences in how brains think and learn. C, results in brains benefiting from being taught differently. D, all of the above. And the answer is all of the above. Question two. Which of these celebrities has a neurodiverse brain? A, Daniel Radcliffe. B, Kim Kardashian, C, Taylor Swift, or D, Chris Hemsworth? And the answer is Daniel Radcliffe. Who was Sally Borden? A, she was a student who went to Friends Academy. B, she was a kindergarten teacher at Friends Academy. C, she was the headmaster of the school in 1975. D, she owned the original Friends Academy mansion. And the answer is B. Sally Borden was a kindergarten teacher at Friends Academy who was dedicated to helping all children learn and be successful. And finally, what year was the Sally Borden program created? A, 2011, B, 2007, C, 2001, D, 2014. And the answer is 2007. Thank you. There's a light that glows by the front door Don't forget the keys under the mat Watch how the stars shine Always stay humble and kind Go to church cause your mama says to Visit grandpa every chance that you can it won't be a waste of time Always stay on good and calm Oh, the door, say please, say thank you Don't steal, don't cheat, and don't lie I know you got mountains to climb Always stay on good and calm Bitterness keeps you from flying Always stay humble and calm 
Know the difference between sharing with someone And sharing with someone you love This ain't no throwaway time Always stay humble and kind When it's hot, eat a root beer popsicle Shut off the AC and roll the windows down And let the summer sun shine And always stay humble and kind Don't take for granted the love this life gives you When you get where you're going, turn right back around And help the next one in line Always stay humble and calm